CBS Philadelphia's Aziza Shula reports the owner is saying a row of encampments is causing health and safety concerns, not to mention taking a toll on business. The authentic Mexican cuisine, complemented by colorful decor and a relaxing outdoor patio, makes Cantina La Martina in Kensington somewhat of an oasis from the unsightly scene of open drug use happening just beyond their doorstep. However, when co owner Maria Angeli says and her husband chose this location for their restaurant in 2022, they were well aware of the challenges of the neighborhood and wanted to bring a sense of hope. To a community they took pride in. Kensington seemed like a place that was affordable to us and also a place that needed a restaurant. There's families that live here, there's people that commute here for work. But Say says since February, a growing encampment across the street has become a burden on neighbors and her business. She claims nightly covers are down at least 60%, and food supply vendors have refused to make deliveries due to safety concerns. That has been scary for the vendors, but it also affects our clients. The mayor's office tells us the city is actively reaching out to individuals in the encampments to encourage them to accept services or temporary housing. On August 16th, crews will remove any remaining items from the sidewalk, and the Department of Commerce is coordinating assistance and outreach efforts for businesses in the area. Does it take that it goes to state level? Do we take this to Harrisburg? Do we take this to federal level? I think that united, we have more power because moving the encampment from this block to the next block, it's not sustainable. In Kensington, Aziza Schuler, CBS News, Philadelphia.